Alright guys, we're right back and we're going to do January 9th readings here for the Bible and uh, let's pray for God's word. Father God, give us the strength to hear your word, give us the guidance to live by your word and give us the strength to meditate on your word and hear your word in the name of Jesus. Now Father God, as we get ready to go forth into these scriptures, God give us the strength to hear your will and meditate on your will and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. We're going to do our readings today for January 9th now. And this is going to take place in Genesis, the 25th chapter, all the way through. The 28th chapter, verse 5. So it's going to be Genesis 25, verse 27 through 28. Verse 5. Okay? And here's the reading of God's holy word. This is where Esau sells his birthright. And this takes place in Genesis, the 25th chapter, verses 27 through 34. Esau sells his birthright. Genesis, the 25th chapter, through the 27th verse through 34. And let's read. So the boys grew, and Esau was a skillful hunter a man of the field, but Jacob was a wild man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Now Jacob cooked a stew, and Esau came in from the field, and he was and he was weary. And Esau and Esau said to Jacob, Please, please feed me with that same red stew, for I am weary. Therefore his name was called Edom. But Jacob said, Sell me your birthright as of this day. And Esau said, Look, I am about to die, so what is this birthright to me? Then Jacob said, Swear to me as of this day. So he swore, so he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob and Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank, arose, and went his way. Thus, thus Esau despised his birthright. Isaac deceives Abimelech. Isaac deceives Abimelech. Genesis, the 26th chapter, verses 1 to 11. Isaac deceives Abimelech. Genesis, the 26th chapter, verses 1 to 11. There was a famine, there was a famine in the land, besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines in Gerah. Then the Lord, then the Lord appeared to him, then the Lord appeared to him and said, and said, do not go down, do not go down to Egypt, live in the land, live in the land of which I shall tell you, live in the land of which I shall tell you. Dwell in this land, dwell in this land, and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendants I give all these lands, and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. And I will make your descendants multiply as the stars of heaven. I will give to your descendants all these lands, and in your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. So Isaac, so Isaac dwelt in Gera, and it, and the man, and the men of the place asked about his wife, and he said, and he said she is my sister, for he was afraid to say she is my wife, because he thought, lest the men, lest the men of the place kill me for Rebecca because she is beautiful to behold. Now it came to pass, now it came to pass when he had been there a long time, that Abimelech king of the Philistines looked through a window and saw, and there was Isaac, showing endearment to Rebekah his wife. Then, then, Abimelech, then Abimelech called Isaac and said, quite obviously she is your wife, so how could you say she is my sister? Isaac said to him, Because I said, Lest I die on account of her. And Abimelech said, 
what is this you have done to us? One of the people might soon have lain with your wife, and you would have brought guilt on us. So Abimelech charged all his people, saying, He who touches this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Okay, now we're into Genesis, the 26th chapter, verses 12 through 25. This is where there was conflict over water rights. Conflict over, over the water rights. Then Isaac, then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. A hundredfold. And the Lord, and the Lord blessed him. The man, the, the man began to prosper, and continued, and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. For he had. For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants. So the so the Philistines so the Philistines envied him. Now the Philistines so now the Philistines had stopped up had stopped up all the wells which his father which his father's servants had dug dug in the days of Abraham his father, and they had filled and they had filled them with earth and Abimelech. And, and Abimelech said to Isaac, Go away, go away from us, for you are, are much mightier than we. Then Isaac, then Isaac departed from there and pitched his tent and pitched his tent in the valley of Gera, and dwelt there and dwelt there. And Isaac dug again, and Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had, which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines, for the Philistines had stopped them up after the death of Abraham. He called them by the names which his father had called them. Also Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found a well of running water there. But the herdsmen of Gera quarried with Isaac's herdsmen, saying, The water is ours. So he called the name of the well Esek, because they quarried with them. Then they dug another well, and they quarried over that one also. So he he called its name Sitna, and he removed he moved from there and dug another well, and they did not quarrel over it. So he called its name Rehoboth, because he said, "For now the Lord has made room for us." And we shall be fruitful in the land. Then he went up from there to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared to him the same night and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not fear, I am, for I am with you. I will bless you. I will bless you and multiply your descendants for my servants Abraham's sake. So he built. So he built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord. And he pitched. And he pitched his tent there. And there, and there, Isaac servants dug a well. A treaty with Abimelech. A treaty with Abimelech. This is in Genesis, the twenty-sixth chapter, verses twenty-six to thirty-five. A treaty with Abimelech. Genesis, the twenty-sixth chapter, verses twenty-six to thirty-five. Then Abimelech. Then Abimelech came to him. Then Abimelech came to him from Gera with Ahuzath. One of his friends and Philco, the commander of his army, and Isaac said to him, and Isaac said to him, Why have you come to me, since you hate me, and have have sent me away from you? But they said, but they said, We have certainly seen that the Lord is with you. So we said, Let there be let there now be an oath between us, between you and us, and let us make a covenant with you that you will do us no harm, since we have not touched you. And since we have done nothing to you but good, and have sent you away in peace, you are now the blessed of the Lord. So he made, he, so he made them a feast, so he made them a feast, and they ate, and they ate and drank. Then they arose, and then they arose early in the morning, in the morning, and swore an oath, and swore an oath with one another, and Isaac, and Isaac sent them away, and they departed, and they departed from him in peace. It came to pass, it came to pass that same day that Isaac's servants, that Isaac's servants 
came and told him, came and told him about the well, about the well which they had dug, and said to him, and said to him, We have found water. So he called it, so he called it Sheba. Therefore, therefore the name of the city is Beersheba to this day. When Esau, when Esau was forty years old, he took he took as wives Judah the daughter of Beri the Hittite, and Basemath, and Basemath the daughter of Elon the Hittite, and they and they were a grief of mind to Isaac and Rebecca and Rebecca. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the twenty seventh chapter of Genesis. This is where Jacob steals Esau blessing. This is where Jacob steals Esau blessing. Now it came to pass when Isaac was old and his eyes were so dim that he could not see that he called Esau his oldest son and said to him, My son, and he answered him, Here I am. Then he said, Then he said, Behold now, I am old. I do not know the day of my death. Now therefore, please take your weapons, your quiver, and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me, and make and make me savory food such as I love, and bring and bring it to me that I may eat, that my soul may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt game and to bring it. So Rebekah spoke to Jacob her son, saying, Indeed, I heard your father speak to Esau, your brother, saying, Bring me game and make savory food for me, that I may eat it, and bless you in the presence of the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to what I command you. Go now to the flock and bring me from there two choice kids of the goats, and I will make savory food from them for your father, such as he loves. Then you shall take it to your father that he may eat it, and that and that he may bless and that he may bless you before his death. And Jacob and Jacob said to Rebekah, and Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Look, look, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth and I am a smooth skinned man. Perhaps perhaps my father my father will fill me, and and I shall seem and I shall seem to be a deceiver to him, and and I shall bring a curse on myself and not a blessing. But his mother, but his mother said to him, Let your curse, let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey, only obey my voice and go get them for me. And he went and got them and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savory food, such as his father loved. Then Rebekah then Rebecca took the choice clothes of her elder son Esau, which were which were with her which was with her in his in the house, and put them on Jacob her younger son, and put them on Jacob her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats on his hand and on the smooth part of his neck. Then he, and then she gave the savory food and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. So he went to the to his father and said, "My father," and he said, "Here I am. Who are you, my son?" Jacob said to his father, "I am Esau." Your firstborn. I have done just as you have told me. Please arise, sit, and eat of my game, that your soul may bless me. But Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? And he said, And he said, Because the Lord, because the Lord your God brought it to me, Isaac said to Jacob, Isaac said to Jacob, Please come near that I may fill you, my son, whether you are really my son Esau or not. So Jacob, so Jacob went near to Isaac, his father, and he felt him, and, and said, 
The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau, and he did not recognize him, because his hands were hairy like his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. Then he said, Are you really my son Esau? He said, I am. He said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's game, so that my soul may bless you. So he brought it near to him, and he ate, and he brought him wine, and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his clothing, and blessed him, and said, Surely, surely the smell of my son is like the smell of a field, which the Lord, which the Lord has blessed. Therefore, therefore, may God give you of the dew of heaven, of the fatness of the earth, and plenty, and plenty of grain and wine. Let peoples serve you, and the nations bow down to you. Be master over your brethren, and let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be those who bless you. Now it happened. Now it happened as soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, and Jacob had scarcely gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. He also had made savory food and brought it to his father and said to his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son's game, that your soul may bless me. And his father Isaac said to him, Who are you? So he said, I am your son, your firstborn, Esau. Then Isaac, then Isaac trembled exceedingly and said, Who? Where is the one who have hunted the game and brought it to me? I ate all of it before you came, and I have blessed him. And indeed, he shall be blessed. When Esau, when Esau heard the words, Esau heard the words of his father, he cried, he cried with an exceedingly great and bitter cry. And he said to his father, Bless me, me also, O my father. But he said, Your brother came with deceit, and he has taken away your blessing. And Esau, and Esau said, Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he has, for he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and now look, now look, he has taken away my blessing. And, and he said, and he said, have you not reserved a blessing for me? Then Isaac, then Isaac answered and said to Esau, indeed, I have made him your master, and all his brethren I have given to him as servants. With grain and wine I have sustained him. What shall I do now for you, my son? And Esau said to his father, Have you only one blessing, my father? Bless me, me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth, and of the dew, and of the dew of heaven from, ab from above. By your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother. And it shall come to pass, when you become restless, that you shall break his yoke from your neck. Okay, now we're going to go to this final parable on January 9th. This is Jacob flees to Padan Aram. Jacob flees to Padan Aram. This is in Genesis, the 27th chapter, verse 41 through the 28th chapter, verse 5. And this is in 1929 or 1763 B.C. So Esau, so Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father, with which his father blessed him. And Esau, and Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. And then I will kill then I will kill my brother Jacob. And the words and the words of Esau, her younger the words of Esau, her older son, were told to Rebekah. So she sent 
So she sent and called Jacob her youngest son and said to him, and said to him, Surely your brother, surely your brother Esau comforts himself concerning you by intending to kill you. Now therefore, now therefore, my son, obey my voice, arise. Flee to my flee to my brother Laban in Haran, and stay with him, and stay with him a few days until your brothers until your brother's fury turns away, until your brother's anger, until your brother's anger turns away from you, and he forgets, and he forgets what you have done to him. Then I will sin, then I will sin and bring you from there. Why, why should I be, why should I be bereaved also of you both in one day? And Rebecca, and Rebecca said to Isaac, I am weary. I am weary of my life because because of the daughters because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob if Jacob takes a wife, if Jacob takes a wife of the daughters of Heth, like these like these who are the daughters of the land, what good what good will my life be to me? And then we're in chapter twenty eight. Then Isaac then Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said to him, You shall not you shall not take a wife from the daughters of Canaan. Arise, arise, go to Padana Ram, go to Padana Ram to the house to the house of Bethuel, your mother's your mother's father, and take yourself and take yourself a wife from there of the daughters of Laban, your bro mother's brother. May God may God Almighty bless you. And make you fruitful and multiply you, that you may, that you may be an assembly of peoples, and give you, and give you the blessing of Abraham, to you, to you and your descendants with you, that you may inherit the land, in which, in which you are a stranger, which gave, which God, which God gave to Abraham. So Isaac, so Isaac sent Jacob away. And he went, and he went to Padana Ram, to Laban, to Laban the son, to Laban the son of Bethuel the Syrian, the brother of Rebekah, the mother of Jacob and Esau. May we receive this word with gladness that may grow thereby in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're gonna take another little break, and when we come back, we'll do January 10th reading. Don't go away. <laughs> 